Hey guys, what's up? Sam here, back with another video. Now today we have this phone right here. This is the Asus Zenfone 3 Max and it has FRP lock on it. So yes guys, another FRP video. Now, as you can see here, this phone is rocking Android Nugget. It has the Android 7.0 version on here with the July 5th, 2017 patch. Now this July 5th patch guys has been one of the most difficult patches to bypass when it comes to frp like i've gone through a bunch of phones as you guys know and it's just getting harder and harder and harder it's almost impenetrable but you know me i'm always up for a challenge so yeah we're gonna try to get this cracking i have not gone ahead and bypassed it as yet i'm just gonna do everything in this one go and hopefully it works all right i have been able to come to this particular uh page right here i've gone into the ui i'm in the home page everything like that but i just can't crack it i can't downgrade google manager or anything like that and the softwares that i've been using so far have not worked now one of the reasons why i love doing these frp bypass videos is so that i can share what i've learned with you guys all right so if it's a new method then i'll do the video and show it to you guys now yesterday i did a frp bypass on a zte phone and i used a new method and the reason before i actually worked and i was like wow and I didn't do a video on that one, but I'm gonna do it with this Asus phone here. Hopefully it works, and if it does, then you guys will benefit from that, hopefully, all right? Now, as you guys can see right here, I am on the home screen. However, you really don't need to be on the home screen or get to the home screen to do this particular method that I'm gonna show you guys, all right? Um, but if you do wanna figure it out, I have done other videos on how to get to here. Just use other methods and you will just land right here. All right, but as you can see, scrolling down notification shade, there's nothing there. There's no home button and there's also no recent app button, all right? Now for this particular method, we're gonna leave the phone off and we're gonna just try to format it. But it's a special type of format that will erase the FRP. So let's go ahead and turn the device off. All you need to do is download a particular program in order to flash or format the Asus device, all right? So you're gonna need the program, a laptop or computer, USB cable, and the phone turned off, all right? So let's go ahead and open up the SP Flash tool here. Now you're gonna need one particular file. I'll leave links to that in the description box down below. All right, you're gonna need to go on download, click on scatter file here, and just find the one that you need. It should be this one here. Click on it, click on open. And it's gonna look something like that. Next, you're gonna go over to Format and click on Manual Format Flash. Then you're gonna put in some values here where it says Begin Address or Format Length. If you see some values there, some numbers or letters, just delete that and put in what I tell you, all right? So I already have it up here. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. And the next one, copy and paste. All right, so go ahead, get your USB cable connected to the computer. All right, now once you've loaded those codes and the file onto the program, just go ahead, hold on on the volume down button, connect it with the USB cable and then press start. Go ahead and let it go. All right, so if it says something about obtain DRAM failed, so just go ahead and try another file. I do have another file here. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose that. Let's click open. Wait for it to process. All right, then you go back to format and delete the values that you see there and then put the other one back in. Go ahead, hit start, volume down, and connect. Let go. And it worked, all right? So it's gonna hold on volume down, connect it, then let it go. And you should see the green tick, all right? So moment to true, guys, let's see if this works, all right? So unplug. And then let's go ahead and start it back up. All right. 
like that. Now, when I did try this yesterday on the ZTE phone, it did take a little while. Once it reached the little FRP bypass page, it did take a while to, you know, really move past that page. So just be patient if it is taking a while to pass that page or if it's taking a while to boot up, just be really patient. If you're waiting too long and it's still not working, then just go ahead and flash the firmware using the SP flash tool, all right? All right, this is making a lot of noise. Sorry about that, I had the top back turned on from before. Let's just go ahead and click on next here. And let's see if it worked. I do hope it worked, fingers crossed. I'm not making this video for no reason at all. So yeah, let's see. This is the page guys, fingers crossed. Oh, it worked. Guys, it worked. It worked. Ooh, I need to stop making that face. But anyways, now you guys might think I'm BSing when I'm like when I seem so pumped on these videos, but it really like I really am pumped when I do these videos, and I can't believe this work. So guys, another freaking awesome method to bypass FRP. Guys, this is a second device I'm using with this particular method, and it is just awesome. Like nothing too technical at all. Like. It's crazy how easy this is. So here we are, you can swipe down, you have the home button, recent button. So now all I'm just gonna do is just go ahead and wipe the device from inside. And you can see here in the developer option, you can go ahead, turn on USB debugging, everything is working just fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and reset the device. Uh, type in this code here, 8003, erase everything. So yeah guys, that's how you bypass the FRP on this Asus Zenfone 3 Max, <laughs> right, it's a mouthful. But yeah guys, I do hope you guys like this video. If you did, let me know by smashing that thumbs up button down below if it worked for you. Let me know in the comment sections as well. As always guys, my name is Duck Coin and I'll catch you in the next video. Zine.